one of the many obstacles faced by miners during the gold rush was the problem of poor ventilation in mine shafts. As sinking got deeper, the air at the bottom of the shaft became hot and stale, making work difficult or impossible. Foul air down the shafts was often as dangerous as water and could be perilous to miners as they dug deeper in search of their gold. To overcome this, wind sails were installed, which were designed to catch the breeze and divert fresh air to the miner working down below. What is a wind sail? Fashioned after the ventilators on the migrant ships which brought the diggers to the gold fields, a wind sail is a simple apparatus used for ventilating relatively shallow mine shafts. Constructed of canvas piping and rigged to a wooden post above the shaft, the top section is open with wings or sails attached to the sides and the rest of the piping hangs down into the shaft. The open section is positioned so as to catch the breeze and divert fresh air down the tube to the miners working below. First implemented in Ballarat, wind sails quickly became an iconic part of the landscape in the early years of the Victorian gold rush. This description of Ballarat was provided in the Argus in 1855. The flat beneath the township is an exceedingly busy scene, and the wind sails which convey fresh air to the deep-sinking miners below are as thick as the leaves in Vallombrosa. Henry Morrison mentioned the use of a wind sail in his 1855 journal of a voyage to Australia. We had to give over working down the hole this afternoon, as the candles would not burn owing to the air being foul. George is repairing the wind sail so as to cause a better draught. Ballarat's Gold Museum has a portion of a canvas wind sail in their collection, and you can see several recreated wind sails set up on display at Ballarat's Living Gold Rush Museum, Sovereign Hill. The wind sails can be found at the diggings, where you can check out many examples of different surface mining technologies. Sovereign Hill also features a tent store, T. Murphy, California Tent Maker. Here you'll find a wind sail up on display alongside a sign which says, Wind sails for superior mineshaft ventilation, made and supplied on request. Wind sails for sale. Old Crossman, an American tent maker, placed an advertisement for his products in The Age in 1855. Aimed at the diggers of Ballarat, he listed the improved machinery he had on offer, including a wind sail of magnificent proportions. Prevention of danger, a great incentive for diggers to purchase wind sails from Hayes Tent Store at Forest Creek. The widespread use of wind sails was confined to the earlier years of the Victorian gold rush. Although they continued to be used to ventilate shallow shafts, by the mid-1850s they began to be replaced by more efficient methods of ventilation. For more information about wind sails, check out the link in the description below. You can also head over to the Goldfields Guide website, where you will discover more of the fascinating history of the Victorian goldfields. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Goldfields Guide on YouTube.